Digimon is one of those franchise and IP that I have such a nostalgic relationship with. I know back in the day it was all about Pokemon, but I was always a bigger fan of Digimon growing up. Don't get me wrong, I liked myself the Pokemon games, the Pokemon anime. But Digimon is where I always gravitated towards, whether it be the original season, the second season, Tamers, even Digimon Frontiers. I love me some Frontiers, and I even gave Digimon Data Squad a shot, and then going back to the games, the Digimon World franchise, Digimon Rumble Arena, I can go on and on, but it has been a little bit inconsistent to be a Digimon fan in terms of getting quality video game releases. That has since changed in recent years. We got Digimon uh, Story Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory, and now we have a game that I am incredibly excited for, and if you're a Digimon fan, you're probably really looking forward to the game as well. It's a game that's been in development for a long time. I honestly thought we were not going to play it this year, and that is why I am a little bit surprised that it is in fact releasing in just one week from the recording of this video, July 29th. We will get our hands on Digimon Survive, and it's a game that I am incredibly excited for for a myriad of reasons, but I'll go over it, and in this video, I want to talk about all the things you should know before you spend your $60 on the upcoming release of Digimon Survive. Now, let's go over the overview from Bandai Namco and developer Hyde. They note, this is a story of survival in a strange new world. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Digimon anime, Digimon Survive presents a brand new adventure set in a mysterious world. Digimon Survive sees a brand new group of teenagers led by Takuma Momozuka get lost on a school camping trip, finding themselves transported to a strange new world of monsters and danger. As they fight their way back home through animated world of difficult decisions and deadly battles, players' choices throughout the game will impact the evolution of their monster allies and the final ending. Battles in the game are fought in 2D in a more classic tactical strategy RPG style. Key features of the game are noted to be an engaging story experience, anime-style storytelling filled with exciting drama, animated cutscenes, and a unique cast of characters. The power is yours. Your choices dramatically affect gameplay through multiple endings. From creating strategic allies to Digimon Digivolutions, Every decision throughout the game counts. You have an original soundtrack. Enjoy an amazing soundtrack with over 15 songs produced by world-renowned composer Tomoki Miyoshi. And then you've got thrilling and strategic gameplay to round things out. Defeat your opponents in classic turn-based tactical combat. Now, this is a game that to many of you might be a little bit different than what you expect out of a Digimon game because Digimon Survive is a bit of a hybrid. Digimon Survive presents a hybrid visual novel and tactical RPG set in a mysterious world filled with dangerous monsters and deadly battles that will test your ability to survive. After getting lost on a school trip, Takuma finds himself transported to a world inhabited by ferocious foes and new allies. Joan Takuma and his friends as they fight their way back home, craft your story, and this thrilling visual novel with turn-based combat. And the visual novel aspect of this game is a big part of the game, so if you're unfamiliar with that, you know, games like Danganronpa, games like Zero Escape, visual novels, generally speaking, have a big emphasis on the narrative and the storytelling, and that is going to be quite possibly the most important element out of Digimon Survive. Yes, it's going to have the strategic and tactical gameplay battles, but storytelling in this game is of utmost importance, so know that going in. It's a rich visual novel experience unfold a dark tale about friendship and survival that is jam-packed with exciting drama, a unique cast of characters, and potentially grim choices to be made throughout the world. A mysterious world, explore otherworldly areas filled with hidden secrets and Digimon to recruit. The power is yours. Decision-making is a big element of this game as well. Throughout the game, there's going to be decisions you're going to have to make, and ultimately, that'll lead to multiple endings throughout the game, different paths that the story will take, but ultimately you will engage in thrilling turn-based battles to break up the experience of the visual novel, so you have this combination of part visual novel and part turn-based strategy. From what we've heard, it looks to be about a 60-40 split between the two gameplay aspects. But you're gonna get a healthy dose of both styles of gameplay, so there's gonna be a lot to sink your teeth into. A while ago, there was a Digimon Games Q&A segment where Digimon Games producer Kazumasa Habu spoke a lot about Digimon Survive and the influence regarding the game, and I want to take a couple of snippets out of that Q&A and let you guys know about it because that'll give you an idea of what to expect out of the game. When asked about influences and references in creating Digimon Survive, he noted, as an answer to the question, I decided to depict Digimon as a life form from another world 
world that can be recognized and contacted through the digital gadgets of the human world as an image that takes this interpretation a little further. The director of the Digimon series, Digimon Adventure, Kakuto told me that Digimon are ethereal beings that have been with us since ancient times, but their perception has changed over time, and they are a fragment of souls that have been transformed into digital monsters by being recognized through digital gadgets in modern society. This is the first time that monsters who used to have an ethereal existence are interacting with people in the modern world. For this reason, we refer to Digimon as monsters, beasts, monsters, creatures, etc. in this work and in promotional messages. Also, since the target audience for this game is the adult fans who are game users, the story is a little bit darker. Since Digimon are described as half of one's inner self, there are dark expressions that are not common in conventional Digimon works, such as denying Digimon by refusing to face oneself or hurting Digimon as manifestation of self-harm. If you are a fan of the TV anime or other Digimon works, you may find some of the descriptions unpleasant, so please be aware of this in advance. So that has been one of the prominent messages when looking into Digimon Survive. This does look to be a game that's going to have a little bit more of a mature, a little bit more of an adult tone going into it, and a darker Digimon story in an RPG. This is something that I personally can completely get behind, and based on speaking with other people that are excited about the game, that's one aspect that seems to get a lot of people excited. Now, as far as the ratio of the game that is in this visual novel style, as well as the tactical gameplay, Habu spoke a little bit about that. The game consists of text adventures and tactics battle, and the story is divided into chapters. As far as the ratio of the game, the volume of text adventure and tactics battle is about 7 to 3, and the game is mainly text adventure. So that is something to note. There's going to be a lot of visual novel aspects to the game. The tactical gameplay is going to be a big part of it, but you really want to be getting into this game with a narrative focus in mind. And the text adventure sequence is the visual novel style. It's about similar to what you expect out of any other visual novel. Habu noted in the text adventure parts, the game progresses through conversation with the characters and investigating objects that can be found in various places in the background. In each chapter, there are two situations that occur in the progression, free expedition and exploration. The number of times you can act in free expedition is limited, and time passes by selecting a destination from the overall map and moving to it by executing conversation. Events occur in that destination. On each map, you can talk with your friends engage in free battles, and examine various locations in the area. By talking with your friends, you can increase your intimacy and receive items. Events to evolve your Digimon may also occur depending on your story progress and affinity with your friends throughout the game. Additionally, by increasing your affinity, your friends might come to your aid in battle, which can be vital during free mode and free battles. You can level up and make friends with wild Digimon. You can also obtain hidden items by examining various locations in the area. And then you have exploration. Incidents occur according to the scenario, and the story progresses by moving around the map, investigating areas, and talking with your friends. As far as the tactics battle gameplay, battles progress in a traditional tactics battle style. At the start of a battle, you can select up to 10 units to join battle. Battles are turn-based, with the order of action determined by the speed of the units. When it's time for your unit to take action, use the commands to choose your action. You can use move to move your units according to the squares on the field. The distance traveled and the ability to climb the height difference are different for each monster. If an enemy is within your attack range, you can attack them. The range of the attack really depends on the technique. The amount of damage varies depending on directional elements such as side, back attacks, height differences, compatibility of monster species, and compa uh, compatibility of attack attributes. So there's actually quite a bit of depth to the tactics gameplay. I know we've been speaking quite a lot about the narrative influence and the narrative emphasis in this game, but the tactics-based gameplay is still a big part of the game, so don't get that twisted. And of course, they'll have SP abilities where you can consume SP to unleash their techniques and digivolve their units and whatnot and special abilities, everything like that. As far as the length of the game, there are 12 chapters in the scenario and from chapter 8 onwards, the story branches into three routes. You've got Morality, Harmony, and Rage. When you reach any one of the three endings of Morality, Harmony, and Rage, the secret route will also then be unlocked. And then as far as the length itself in terms of hours, assume about 40 hours per route. It may vary depending on the level of difficulty and the use of the fast forward function of the text. It will take about 80 to 100 hours to complete all routes, including challenging elements and end game content. So this is a game that you're going to really be able to sink your teeth into. Even if you look at that 100 hours and think, okay, that might be a little bit of a stretch, cut that in half. Let's say it's 50 hours. You're going to get a content filled experience out of Digimon Survive that looks to be well worth your $60, at least from a pure value and uh, how much content you're getting standpoint as far as quality of the game goes we'll see when the game ultimately drops on july 29th but that is gonna do it for me again we are coming up on the release of digimon survive it's a game that honestly i did not expect to play this year i think many of you would agree with me on that that you did not expect to play this game at least 
this early in the year as well. This summertime period, at best, I was expecting fall, and honestly, I was expecting a delay into 2023. Hopefully, the development turmoil and a couple of the delays didn't affect the game too much, and we will see the game be released in a great form, because I'm excited about a more mature Digimon story being told here, with great tactical gameplay and a great narrative to get invested into. But that is going to do it for me. Digimon Survive hits PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC on Steam July 29th. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you excited for Digimon Survivor? Are you going to be picking it up day one? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.